You know, there's a school of thought that electric cars aren't that sexy, I guess. But if you spend a bit of money, they actually do start to look pretty good. I'm thinking Jaguar I-Pace, Tesla Model 3, Porsche Taycan. But what happens when you spend a lot more money? Well, they start to look like this, like spaceships with wheels. There's a small handful of electric hypercars heading our way in 2021, reserved for the ridiculously wealthy, who can afford to splash out a cool couple of million on the most extreme of electric cars. These are cars with power outputs, like telephone numbers. So there's the Rimac C2. At least that's what it's called at the moment. It's a mega car with 1,888 brake horsepower and enough gadgets to confuse James Bond. There's Lotus's Avaya, an electric monster that's supposed to handle and put nearly 2,000 brake horsepower to the ground without immediately rotating the earth underneath it. There's even one called the Aspark Owl. Yeah, really. But perhaps the most understandable one, the most beautiful one, is this one. Now this is Pininfarina's very first car and it's called the Batista. It's named after the company's founder, Batista Farina. So Pininfarina made their name designing beautiful cars for other people. Brands like Fiat, Alfa Romeo and of course Ferrari. So for the first car to bear their name on the front, they decided to go large and to completely smash the myth that electric cars are a little bit boring. Boring the Batista is not, because this is what happens when coach building and technology get together and have a party. Because with Batista, the worlds of very pretty design and going very, very fast collide. It will be one of the world's fastest electric cars. The world's fastest cars full stop with a top speed of 217 miles per hour, while 0-62 takes under two seconds. Just pretty hard to compute, isn't it? So Pininfarina say that those numbers, which incidentally make this car the most powerful road legal car to come out of Italy, are only possible because it is electric. So let's put the figures into perspective, shall we? This is a road car that has almost double the power of a Formula One car. It is absolute insanity, isn't it? And you know what the best bit is? There are no emissions. All the fun, none of the guilt. And because it's been styled by Pininfarina, it's probably no surprise that it's also completely drop-dead gorgeous. In fact, it's already picked up a cluster of awards for its supermodel-esque beauty. But beauty isn't all it's got, because under that rear deck is a 120 kilowatt hour battery. And a big battery means big power. The kind of power you can't get out of a combustion engine. Nearly 1,900 brake horsepower, in fact. You get four motors, giving full torque vectoring across all four wheels. And there's nearly, wait for it, 2,300 pounds of torque at work. So for context, folks, a Ferrari 458 has around 400 pounds of torque, so the Batista has nearly five times the punch. It's just amazing it doesn't rip its own tyres off. In fact, the only thing stopping it going any faster is the tyres, but Pirelli are apparently already working on that. It can manage around 311 miles on a single charge, and if you can find an ultra-fast 180 kilowatt charger, then you can top the battery up from 20 to 80% in less than 25 minutes. Pretty impressive. Plug it into a 7 kilowatt home charging unit and it's going to take a very long time. But you could simply spend that time admiring it and never get bored. The man behind this drop-dead gorgeous beauty is Luca Borgogna. And let's face it, if ever a brand was to smash the myth that electric cars are a little bit dull, it's the one that designed some of the most iconic cars ever built. We want with this car to make a poster car for the walls of the children of tomorrow. And uh, 
uh, to make this car like the, the Starossa of the 80s. And uh, so we start uh, making them drill the Battista to be able to make them you know, drive electric cars in the future. So this is our first challenge. We feel the responsibility, but it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Oh, and did I mention that the legendary racer Nick Heidfeld is the development driver for Batista? He told us recently that Batista accelerates so quickly that during one of the simulator sessions, he actually had to recalibrate his senses. And yes, we know, these kind of electric fantasies aren't really meant for mere mortals like us. Well, those of us without the bottoms bank accounts anyway. But what they do do is push boundaries. They explore extremes. They answer questions. Answers which might well inform the kinds of technologies that end up in a car that you or I would actually drive. In the meantime, well, they're fun to look at. Time to start saving, folks. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, then you'll get all the notifications about the Batista's journey as this electric hypercar and others come to life. And do visit us over at electrifying.com too.